And here we have the view from Eno's Renault. From the onboard camera, we can see his carrier. Unfortunately, we've got a problem. You see him closing up under braking there. We've got a bit of a problem with his camera lens. I think the car in front's blowing some oil out and it's getting dirty. So I fear that uh, the next thing they're going to have to develop. And Eno's looking for a way to overtake. And uh, there we see him complete the manoeuvre. So that was passing Jonathan Palmer. And the Zach speed. So obviously for Grand Prix racing, because it's a problem you get with your visor, a bit of oil and rubbish comes from out of the car in front. Uh, of course, you can stick a hand up and wipe your visor. I used to carry a rag between my legs. Some people would take tariffs for their visors, but they're going to have to find a system to clean the camera lens. Otherwise, by five laps following an oily car, we won't see anything. And at the end of lap four, the order is, in first place, Keke Rosberg in the Williams Honda. Second, Ayrton Senna, the Brazilian in the JPS Lotus. Third, Michele Alboreto for Ferrari. And fourth, Elio De Angelis, the man who's third in the championship in the other Lotus. And you're looking at Francois Eno in the camera car. James. Well, I've just been told that I have maligned the... Uh engineers who did this setup, Eno does in fact, they have got a Heath Robinson system for keeping the lens clean because they've got a bit of cling film on the lens of the camera which Eno can then pull off and of course because of the cling film have all the dirt and then we can get the lens dirty following that. The only problem is that he has no way of knowing when the lens is very dirty and so he's just going to have to guess.